Hi guys, this is Mr. Farmer. Welcome to our video on ICH Q1 Stability Guidelines. If you ever wondered how pharmaceutical companies ensure that their medicines stay safe and effective throughout their shelf life, then you are in the right place. In this video, we'll dive into the world of stability testing, exploring the different guidelines set by the International Council of Harmonization and how they are applied in the industry. So grab a seat and let's explore the fascinating world of pharmaceutical stability testing. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. The ICH Q1 Stability Guidelines provide guidance for pharmaceutical companies on how to conduct stability testing for new drug substances and products. The guidelines help ensure that the medicines remain safe and effective throughout their shelf life by setting standards for testing conditions and data analysis. The guideline covers various topics such as photo stability testing, evaluation of stability data and stability testing for new dosage form. Let us imagine that you are having a bakery and you are the baker and you want to make sure your cakes stay fresh and delicious for as long as possible. Cake here being the drug dosage form like tablet, capsule, creams, etc. You want to know how long your cakes will last on the shelf and what storage conditions are best for maintaining their quality. The ICH Q1 stability guidelines is like a recipe book for you. Providing guidance on how to conduct stability testing for your cake, you would subject your cakes to various conditions such as temperature, humidity and light to see how long they remain fresh and tasty. The guidelines would provide specific consideration and testing requirements for different types of cakes such as a sponge cake, a fruit cake, a chocolate cake. Remember that different type of cakes as your different type of dosage forms like syrups, injections, etc. They would also provide guidance on how to analyze and interpret your stability data to determine the shelf life of your cakes and appropriate storage conditions. Let us now see about the storage conditions used in ICH guidelines. Have you ever tried using coconut oil in cold weather and found that the oil becomes solid and hard to use? But whereas some coconut oils are made differently with special methods and additives to prevent them from freezing. It is same with the medicine too. They must be tested in different conditions to make sure that they can be used in different places and won't be affected by the environment. So before using any medication, it is important to check that it has been tested and can withstand different temperatures and conditions. Hence the drug substances and dosage forms must be tested in different conditions proposed as per the ICH stability storage conditions for a period of time and ensure that there is no significant change so that it can be used in different location and doesn't have impact from the external conditions. This decides how long you can store your dosage form which is called the shelf life. The next important section of ICH stability guidelines is the Q1A stability. Let me give an example about Q1A stability guideline and what is it used for. Imagine that you are a chef. You have created a new sauce recipe to sell in your restaurant. But before you can do that, you need to make sure that it stays tasty and safe over time. The sauce is being referred here as new drug substances and new drug product. That's where ICH Q1A stability testing guidelines come in. It provides the instructions for testing your sauce's shelf life and storage condition. To do this, you will subject your sauce to different environments like temperature and humidity to see how it reacts. The guidelines even cover on different packaging types and provide guidances on the statistical analysis and interpretation of stability data. By following the ICH Q1A stability guidelines, you can ensure Ensure that your sauce remains safe and delicious over its intended shelf life and storage condition. This brings a high quality products to your customers. Now let us see about Q1B photo stability testing of new drug substances and products. Have you ever noticed some of the cough syrups come in glass amber bottle? This is because some of the ingredients may be light sensitive, especially to UV light. And the amber glass bottles provide protection against light induced degradation. During ICH Q1B photo stability testing of new drug substances and products, different packaging materials are tested to determine how they affect the product stability when they are exposed to light. The testing involves subjecting the drug substances or drug products to different light sources including natural and artificial light and measuring any changes in their physical and chemical properties. The results of the ICH Q1B photostability testing are used to establish appropriate packaging and storage conditions for the drug substances or the products to ensure that it remains safe, effective and stable over its intended shelf life. 
Now let us see QNC stability testing for new dosage form. Imagine you are a clothing manufacturer and you have developed a new type of fabric for your line of shirts. Shirts and fabrics here are referred to a new dosage form. As a clothing manufacturer, you want to make sure that your new line of shirts stays intact and doesn't deteriorate over time. ICH QNC stability testing guidelines are like set of instructions for you, providing guidances on how to conduct a stability testing for your fabric. By subjecting your fabric to different conditions like temperature and humidity you can determine how long it will last and what storage conditions are best for your fabric the guidelines also provide specific requirement for testing different types of fabrics like cotton or silk and offer guidance on interpreting the data following these guidelines ensures that your shirts remains high quality and last as long as they should now let us discuss about Q&D bracketing and matrix designing for stability testing of new drug substances and products guideline. The company can use this guidelines to optimize the stability testing process and reduce the number of tests required. With bracketing design, the company can identify the most extreme storage conditions like highest and lowest temperature and humidity levels and test the drug product at those conditions. If the drug remains stable, it is assumed that it will remain stable at the intermediate storage conditions as well. On the other hand, with the matrixing design, the company can select the subset of storage conditions and time points that represents different combinations of stability profile of the drug substances. This design allows the company to reduce the number of tests required while still ensuring the data is representative of the entire range of storage conditions and time points. Imagine you have a toy car that you want to make sure it stays together but you don't do all day the testing. With bracketing design, you could test the car in the coldest and hottest temperatures to make sure it stays together which means that it could stay in the temperatures in between. With matrix design, you could test the car at different temperatures to get a good idea how it will hold with other different temperatures. Pharmaceutical companies use these type of testing to make sure the medicines are safe and effective under different storage conditions like different temperatures or different level of humidity. Now let us see about Q1E evaluation of stability data. Imagine you are a chef and you are trying to make a really delicious soup. You have all the ingredients but you are not sure how long to cook the soup at what temperature. So you decide to do some experiments to figure it out. You make several batches of soup and for each bag you cook it at a different temperature and for a different amount of time. Then you taste each batch of the soup and record how it tastes and how it looks. After you have done this for several batches of soup, you look all the data you have collected to decide the best way to cook the soup. In the same way, pharmaceutical companies have to do experiments to figure out how to store the medicine so that it is safe and effective. The ICH Q1E guidelines are all about how to look the data that has been collected during these experiments and decide whether or not the medicine is still safe to use. After all the data is collected, a pharmaceutical company has to evaluate the stability data to decide how long the medicines will be safe and effective for. By doing all these experiments and evaluating the stability data, the pharmaceutical companies can make sure the medicine is safe for the people to use. The last ICH Q1 stability guidelines that we are going to see is the Q1F stability data package for registration in climatic zones 3 and 4. Imagine you are a camper and you are planning to a trip to the mountains. You need to make sure you are having all the camping materials that you need to stay safe and comfortable in the cold, harsh climate. You research the weather patterns for the area you are going to, gather the information on the gear that will work for the best in those conditions etc. Similarly, pharmaceutical companies have to prepare a stability data package when they want to register a new medicine in different parts of the world where the climate is harsh such as very hot or very cold areas. The ICH Q1F guidelines provide instructions on how to prepare this package. The package includes all the stability data that the pharmaceutical company has collected during testing to show that the medicine remains safe and effective even in extreme weather conditions of the target region. This information is then submitted to regulatory authorities for the approval so that the medicine can be registered and made available to people living in those areas. By preparing the stability data package according to the ICH QNF guideline, the pharmaceutical company can show that their medicine is safe and effective for the people to use even in harsh weather conditions just like the camper who is well prepared for the trip to the mountains. Hope you have the clarity of ICH Q1 guidelines now. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.